Hi there, happy Wednesday everybody. Today we have our Eris Lux Legacy. I don't know the exact year of this model, somebody else might. Um, here's its brush roll. It's actually fairly soft bristles, I wouldn't mind finding a slightly stiffer brush roll, but for now, it still works. It actually feels a little firmer than the last time I used it for some reason. Um, it has the plastic wand set up, which some people don't like. Uh, it's a bulky gas pump handle, but it's actually very comfortable to use. I actually am really impressed by this machine. It has great airflow, great suction. It's not loud. It's easy to maneuver. It's nice and tall. I've had Kenmore's where I feel like I'm sto I'm stooping over, and I'm only five foot seven. I'm not a very tall guy, um, but I'm very impressed with this machine. I've got HEPA filters installed or HEPA bags installed. Here's the uh, back filter. It was replaced not long ago when I got this machine. Still quite clean in there, which is nice because the. This machine was not so clean when I got it, so seeing that this filter is still nice and clean. There's some in there, not bad. That filter was washed when I took the whole thing apart. That just goes back in there. That's actually generic. This is, um, um, EnviroCare makes this one, this particular one. I don't know if it's HEP or what, but it works. Maybe next time I'll get something more up there if you guys recommend something else but for right now it works um, long crats tool the dusting crush combo I haven't used the attachments too much I did just clean the inside of my dryer with this around the whole door where all the lint builds up um, I also haven't played much with this dial but I haven't had any problems with it either so I'm just kind of sort of Letting it be. The bag is a HEPA. It's made by Queen Obsessed, but it's HEPA. It's gaining weight too. It's actually got a fair bit of weight to it. Um, which is good. That means it's doing its job. Nice and clean inside of there. I have smelly puffs in here, so it smells good when you use it. Not sure what scent, but there's smelly stuff. I always try to make sure when I take off the hose I can actually see into the bag, which is good, so it's clear. Put this guy back in there. Line up the arrow. Uh, hold on one moment. You have to forgive me, I'm still new with these machines. I believe that's it. Okie dokies. So, let's come up here like this. Let me turn it on. Very powerful. Um. Nice powerful suction one for this unit. Nice pleasant sounding motor, it's not loud. Teeny tiny bit of shrillness, but it's not bothering me and I'm the really I'm the guy that's really fussy. Okay, that's not so good for you. Now we'll do the power head. Turn switch off. Connect. Look how tall it is. The Hoovers are jealous. Hmm. 
very easy to maneuver. I haven't measured the path. I think it's a 15, but I haven't measured it. Uh, edge cleaning is terrific because of this nozzle. It's got nice chambers on each end. I like this base plate. It grabs crap up against the wall really nice. It's quiet. And it's only, um... I believe it's a 1.2 amp. Yeah, there it is. 1.2 amp. You can see it just in that top corner right there. So. It's not super powerful, but it does get the job done. It makes nice grooming marks. I haven't been a big Lux user over the years. Usually the ones I had in the past didn't fall me so well. They'd end up skiing across the floor instead of actually moving across the floor. Um, a lot of the power nozzles were super obnoxious. This one doesn't bother me. I, I like this one. I like using this. I've used it a few times now. Um, yeah. So we're at seven minutes. I'm going to cut it here. See, it's got a pleasant wind down. I like the power button. It's nice and big. It's got a nice audible quick on off to it. I like the black color. I'm not a big fan of the other white ones and gray ones and all that type of thing. I like this one. So, anywho, you get to see a video of me making with vacuuming that I haven't complained about. <laughs> Have a great one.